Good evening, everybody. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes so the rest of the company comes to the class. Okay, welcome to the class, everybody. I hope you had a very nice Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so that is very good. Of course, the first thing that we will check is the platform. So this is the class of today. Design a basic checklist to hire a 3PL provider. And uh, this is the question for today. So you can participate into that one. And uh, well, there is no homework for today. Only a few by now, but we're going to actually check the attendance. Let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Dinares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good, welcome. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Welcome. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Present. And Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue with the class of today. So, uh, I have a message. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to start uh, yesterday. We were checking about the best, the best logistics company in the world. So we're going to continue in checking today how to choose the best logistics company for you, right? So we're going to continue with this part and uh, then we're going to continue with something that is very interesting. That is some flow charts. Of course, we are going to have the time for that one. So the first one here says choice of logistic partner. Okay, so that is one of the most important things that we need to we need to do. So if your partner is maybe it's not that the partner is bad, the company is not good, but if the partner is not the one that is going to supply our needs, it's going to it's not going to be good. Is going to impact our business. So let's read a little bit more about this one. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the first part? Okay, teacher. Okay. Choice of logistics partner. When considering the impact of post purchase, customer experience on consumers, we need to understand the importance of logistics partners. Uh, with an efficient logistics company, your business can be built on seamless operation. In that case, selecting, selecting world oil logistics companies is paramount for your business. Perfect. So what do you understand on this one? The, I understand that I, the important uh, is the, is the logistic for um, efficient service, the company for the customer, the customer. Perfect, actually that is it. I mean, uh, to choose the logistics partner that is the right for you is where the word that they use is Panamount. Do you know what is Panamount? Like in the movies? maybe limit mm, like uh, mm. very important something that is like on the top something very 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 that's going to to be crucial for you vital so that will be it. and it says well oiled logistics so that means that everything is working fine everything is working very well uh, adriana could you please read the second paragraph Okay, moreover, shipping, shipping companies with a fuel 3PL network will reduce or negate friction in the supply chain, directly influencing customer loyalty. Top logistic partners can offer tailor-made solution that your business demands and future like especially shipment and returns and management will attract and retain a wide range of customers. Perfect. So what do you understand on this one, Adriana? Mm. Mm. Maybe mm. it is important to say uh, the mention uh, shipping con with um, at the existence that repeal and reduce um, reduce the oh, no. we'll reduce or negative friction in the supply chain mm. and uh Oh, only that teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. So yes, actually it says here, more rubber, shipping companies with a fluid 3PL network. Okay, so this is one that is important. A fluid 3PL network, fluency. That means that is fast, right? 
Like in English, do you remember that we say that in this level, we need to practice fluency. Actually, tomorrow we're going to practice that one. So fluency for 3PL, for logistics in general, and for a business is important. So that is fast, because remember that time is money here. And it says we'll reduce or negate friction in the supply chain, directly influencing customers' loyalty. So that is the consequence, right? If the 3PL network is nice and is fast, at the end, you are going to have customers that are happy and satisfied, and they are going to continue with your company. Top logistics partners can offer tailor-made solutions. What do you understand on tailor-made solutions? What is that? Anybody? When you do something for, an, for a special customer or client. Okay, very good. So it's like when you have a need and uh, the other company is going to do exactly what you need. So tailored to your needs, it's going to match. Maybe they have something that is big, but if you want something that is small, they say, okay, we're going to do something small for you. So that is tailored according to what you really need. So, uh, and sense and features like specialized shipments and returns management will attract and retain a wide range of customers. So at the end, everything is focused for the customers, right? So they are satisfied, happy, and they say, oh, this company is amazing. Like you yesterday, right? Some of you said, oh, FedEx is very good. Some other people say, no, DHL is fantastic. I mean, that is because you have a good experience with them. If you had a bad experience, you will say, oh, no, that's not good. Maybe, maybe you have all the shipments very nice, but if you have one shipment that is not good, maybe you will say, hmm, it's good, but sometimes there are some problems, right? So loyalty from customers is what they are looking to get. So number 3.2 says serviceability of logistics company. Uh, let's see, Rose, could you please help me with the first one? The first one and the second one, please. Serviceability is a critical factor in establishing your online business. It determines how many regions an e-commerce company can service and what quantity of orders it can handle. Uh, so which with better reach online companies can expand to multiple, multiple areas and attract a comprehensive range of customers. Perfect. Top logistics. Oh, okay. You want to continue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I finished. Okay. okay. Top logistic companies can handle orders of any bandwidth, be, be, be it international, domestic, or remote locations. However, online ventures show also know precisely the regions they cater to and select the right logistics partner for their operations. Very good, perfect. Uh, what did you understand on this one? I understand that they are type, they are talking about how the treat the treat that you offer to the customers. Mm. Also, they mentioned that. Mm, you can um, multiple areas and attract a comprehensive range of customers. Oh my God, mm, I understand that. I don't, I'm not sure what is the meaning of serviceability. I think that is, is a good service. Or not. Exactly, yeah, that is it. Okay, uh -huh. I understand in that way, the company uh, has to be a good customer service. Right? I think. Very good. Perfect. Yes, actually, that is it. I mean, serviceability is like the way that you are going to service other departments or, of course, the final consumer. So it's a critical factor in establishing your online business. It determines how many regions. So that is good. An e-commerce company can service and what quantity of orders it can handle. So it's like the size of the service that you can handle. 
how big you will be able to provide a good service, not only a service, a good service, right? So with better reach, online companies can expand to multiple areas and attract a comprehensive range of customers. So uh, the bigger you are, but with good logistics, you are going to be able to reach more people. And at the end, it says top logistics company can handle orders of any bandwidth. So because there are different kinds of, let's say bandwidth, for example, international. So maybe you are, I mean, you can place an order for a product that is in China, right? That is in uh, Netherlands. So international, domestic, here in El Salvador, or remote locations. So it's like there are many locations in the world and you choose what is the location that you are going to get this from. Uh, however, online ventures should also know precisely the regions they cater to and select the right logistics partners for their operations. So it says that it's good to have a lot, a big logistics company, but anyways, you need to be careful about what kind of need do you have. Of course, that, uh, these are things that we have checked for a while now. So 3.3, um, Ada, Patricia, could you please help us with this one? Okay, improving courier selection process and managing shipping costs. If you're an e-commerce business, you know that shipping costs can quickly adapt. Not only do you have to factor in the cost of shipping product to customers, but you also need to account for the time and manpower required. Unfortunately, many business don't realize how high shipping cost can be. Not only do the costs have to be managed, but they also have to be pre negotiated with carriers so that the business can get the best rate possible. Shipping rates will be based on the frequently volume and type of your shipments. Perfect. So what do you understand on this one, Ara Patricia? Mm. Is to talk the mm, co e commerce um, improving. I don't know. This. <laughs> okay, don't worry, that is fine. Okay, it says if you're an e commerce business, you know that shipping costs can quickly add up. So that means that it's very easy for you to increase the money that you will spend in producing and distributing a product. Not only do you have a factor in the cost of shipping products to customers, but you also need to account for the time and manpower required. So it's not only the, the production and the shipping, but also if it's going to be on the warehouse, how much time is going to be on the warehouse, and you need to pay for the people that are in the middle of the logistics so anything like that unfortunately many businesses don't realize how high shipping costs can be not only do the costs have to be managed but they also have to pre-negotiated with careers so that the business can get the best rates possible so this starts whenever you are going to choose a 3pl so you need to negotiate very good rates and uh, if they have the capability of scale, upscale is also a very important factor. Shipping rates will be based on the frequency, volume, and type of your shipment. Of course, you need to be open that if you are going to need a lot of resources, of course, the, the price is going to increase. Uh, actually, warehousing is the uh, unit number three for this model. But by now, we're going to introduce on this one. Let's see, Carla, could you please help me reading this one? Hi, teacher. Uh, 3.4? Yes, please. Okay. Warehousing and inventory management. Warehouse and an inventory solution are the glue that holds supply chains operation together. With many 
diverse, commode, commodity, moving through the logistics service system is crucial to provide relevant storage facilities. Warehousing and distribution requ require tem temperature control system and accurate inventory management. This logistic solution will give end-to-end -end supply chains operation running seamlessly. Moreover, 24-7 security and quality set at various inbound and outbound points maintaining the integrity of the supply chain's operation. Perfect. What do you understand on this one? Um, I think that the 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 management of an inventory solution is way together because it's very important that the the, the product or or a raw material or any that a logistic um, logistic. A, delivery to to come to to come to the, the business it, it is necessary account with a with a warehouse where uh, where where management the product and, and for for this reason it is very important that uh that a solution that a inventory solution management uh, what is the uh, ways to the the logistic <laughs> i don't I, I i don't know if i'm with with explain teacher <laughs> okay don't worry I, I understand that is that's very good very good thank you <laughs> okay, okay let's uh, yeah, so I uh, have the idea, but I don't don't uh, explain you. Yeah, actually, that's the reason of uh, the classes. I mean, to practice, right? I know that sometimes it's difficult, and I know these topics sometimes the words uh, and they are kind of difficult. But that is the reason that why we are here. So it's very good, very nice. So okay. it says warehouse and inventory solutions are the glue that holds supply chain operations together. So if you have a good system of warehouse and inventory, plus a, a nice transportation system, everything is going to be fine. It's going to be fantastic. With many diverse commodities moving through the logistics services system, it's crucial to provide relevant storage facilities. Warehousing and distribution require temperature control system and accurate inventory management. So sometimes there are special, special conditions that depending on the product that you are distributing, you are going to need either in the warehousing, in the management of the products or in the transportation. These logistic solutions will keep end-to-end -end supply chain operations running seamlessly. Moreover, 24 seven security and quality those two words are very important. Security and quality. I mean, yes, if the warehouse is very nice and it's fantastic, but you lose one, two, three, six products, it's not good. And quality, the way that they handle the products is going to be very important as well. And that is important in both inbound and outbound points. So entrance and outside right, for all the operation. Any questions so far? Okay, let's move on. Let's see, the number 3.5 order tracking and transport, of course, as we were saying. Uh, Sandra, could you please read this one? Points, uh, three, five. Yeah, please. Order tracking and transport. Logistics service provide utilize technologies and skill, skillful human resource in managing a wide range of shipping mechanisms. 
mechanism. As a result, mechanics. As a result, today, total logistics company have been able to deliver proactive supply chain solution. That includes factors like a uh, well equipped fleet of transport, transport and ac accurate taking system that consistently deliver reliable service. Moreover, this Turkey system offer accurate real-time treatment visibly for customer with timely notification. Furthermore, seamless transport, transportation requires human resource, added and handling modern tech, so accurate tracking and secure transport, transport are crucial for an online business to deliver satisfying customer experience. Perfect. So, Sandra, what did you understand on this one? Uh, I understand a more important te technology a, a department human resource a, for for uh, function uh, shipping mechanics. Uh, um, so I have a result, results, uh, talk logistics. Uh, it's important for, uh, for uh, attention customer uh, or for experience of customer. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. So yes, as we were saying before, right? Warehousing and inventory management is important, but also order tracking and transport. So that is something that for customers is very important. Let's review again. Logistic service providers utilize technology and skillful human resources in managing a wide range of shipping mechanisms. So yeah, technology and people that are trained to manage the products, that is very important. Also mechanisms, you, do you remember that for Amazon, they use a band to move their products, a lot of things that you need. As a result today, uh, top logistics company have been able to deliver proactive supply chain solution. That includes factors like a well-equipped fleet or of transporting accurate tracking system that consistently deliver reliable service. That word is also important, reliable. That you as a company, you trust in that and also the customers, they trust in you. So that is very important. And it says, moreover, these tracking systems offer accurate real-time shipment visibility for customers with timely notifications. So tracking systems, as we said before, is very important. Customers, they want to know where is the package. Clients, they want to know where is the package. So if you have that one, of course, you will be able to success in this. Okay, the next one is 3.6 delivery services. So this is going to be for, uh, let's see, uh, sell me. For e-commerce businesses. Delivering order to customer as quickly as possible is essential for maintaining a high level of customer satisfaction. This has led to the develop, development of a number of specialized 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 deliver service like Express, Send Day next day and hyperlocal, hyperlocal. These deliver expectations have not because the norm. Business, businesses that don't offer them may find themselves at a disadvantage. More, moreover, businesses can extend their service for, further. 
by offering customer delivery optimizations. Mm. Let's continue with the other part, the last part. Okay, teacher. That includes rescheduling the date and time and changing location to suit to, to suit, suit, suit the cost suit to suit thank you the customer convenience as a result businesses can attract more customers and reduce a lot of failed deliveries perfect what did you understand on this one the importation uh, that the main main not the main object of the service of the delivery in this case uh, for the businesses very good so delivery is another key factor for hiring a 3pl a logistics company so it's delivery for quality exactly. for quality of the service mm -hmm. that is very important right Yes. And as, as you can see yeah, now, well, let's read a little bit. Delivering orders to customers as quickly as possible is essential for maintaining a high level of customer satisfaction. So as quickly as possible is the first rule for delivery, fast. Yes. It has to be very fast. And this has led to the development of a number of specialized delivery services like express, same day, next day, or hyper local. So there are, it's not only fast, but also sometimes you have different levels of delivery, like the express yeah. that is going to be very fast, same day or the next day, if you are not in a hurry, hyper local, that is go to a, you purchase here, but you can go to another uh, store so you can pick the same product. So yeah. there are many options for delivery and customers, they expect that you offer all that kind of, that kind of mm -hmm. solutions. Just and in time. Just in time, the way that they mm -hmm. need and where they need. Yeah. Okay. And what else? It says uh, rescheduling is also important as we were checking. FedEx, mm -hmm. do you remember FedEx? You, uh, you remember they were able to do rescheduling, changing location. I mean, adapt to customer's need. So what, what mean teacher rescheduling? Rescheduling is to change the schedule, to change the, the time. Change, change the things and uh, place. Yeah, to, to change the time that you are going to send or deliver the, the things in this case. Okay. Good. So, so that is very important. Very, very, very important. Very good. So let's move to 3.7. Uh, Ricardo, could you please? help us with this one okay teacher last man delivery section okay the process of operation between the last transit hook and the finally delivery destination in the supply chain is the last meal delivery service on delivering exception, can you can occur during this pleasure due to they they like they like your delayed delay shipment stuck a shipment on final delivery items. Next, yes, please. Okay, five delivery can be because of an anchor hundred una una believably of customer or in a core code contact information their station new to be probably reserved to manager RTOs or return to original in true digital resolution effectively help in maintaining the reputation of your business and probably a satisfactory customer expression. Very good, perfect. So okay. 
last mile delivery exception. So do you remember what is last mile? That is the first question. I guess we checked that already, so do you remember? Rosie explained yesterday that is the important. The important? Oh, no, I confused. The, la the last mile is the last stage in the process. That is it, the last stage. I'm sorry, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for your explanation. <laughs> of course, that's why we are here to learn English and learn about logistics. So good. <laughs> So the, yeah, the last mile is that like the last stage. Uh, do you remember that this is like a process, right? Procedure. So the last part is that one where the retailer or uh, the wholesaler is going to give the product, is going to provide the product to the customer, the consumer, the last one, okay? So that is it. So um, let's check again, the phase of operation between the last transit hub and the final delivery destination in the supply chain is the last mile delivery service. And delivery exception can occur during this phase due to delay shipments, stock shipments, and failed delivery shipments. So important part here is that one, exceptions. That sometimes it's possible to have an exception for a delivery. Why? Because we have a delay shipment. What is delay? Do you remember? Delay is, is, is when something arrives late. Late. Very good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes happens that. So sometimes the shipment is delayed because of many reasons, right? Stock shipments. Do you know what is stock shipments? So only stock, what is stock? Do you remember that? Inventory? No, that is- No, the stock uh, is, 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 is when you are trapped, trapped. Uh, very good, like trap when yes. you are- it's stuck, uh, stopping. I don't know, atascado, I don't know. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> stock. That's the stock? one, yeah. Stock, yes. Yeah. So, stock shipments, meaning- Problem, problem, the, the, yeah. the delivery. So sometimes the package is in the warehouse, but it's not possible to move the package because of many reasons. One of the most common examples for the US is when a hurricane is happening. So when you place an order, but a hurricane comes, I mean, it's not possible. It's dangerous for people to go outside. So the shipping is stuck somewhere and uh, you cannot, delivered that one. So that is an example of stock shipments. Okay, the other one says, and failed delivery attempts. What is a failed delivery attempts? Do you know? I don't know. Delivery, yes. But what is failed delivery attempts? Mm. When you, no, when, delivery, no delivery. Exactly, very good. When it's not possible to deliver it. I mean, sometimes that happens as well. Sometimes FedEx is there with the package and it's not possible to deliver. And actually the second paragraph, it says that failed delivery can be because of an incorrect address, for example. Incorrect if you, address. Uh -huh, if you... Uh, right, if you type the incorrect address, of course, it's not possible to deliver that one. Okay, and availability, problem. go ahead, I'm sorry. Excuse me, uh, problem the traffic. Yeah, might be, um, but that is more delayed because maybe you have a problem in traffic, but let's say that sooner or later is going to be delivered. But if you traffic have a- generally, generally. Uh, so incorrect address, I mean, it's not possible, right? If you have a number that is incorrect in the address, even if FedEx is looking for you with the package, it's not possible. The other one says unavailability of customers. 
So sometimes they... Uh, I've, I've been uh, bad logistic. Well, yeah, it's like, uh, no, this is about the customer that is going to receive the package. That means that you, I imagine that you work for FedEx and you go to my house. I'm expecting a, a package and you knock on the door, but I'm not, I'm not there. Mm, so you take the package with you, right? And you attempt a second time, knock on the door, but I'm not there. So it's not possible to deliver the package because the customer is not available. And the other one, the final one says, or inaccurate contact information. Yeah, I can call you, but if your phone number is not correct, I won't be able to reach you, right? So in that case, we need to do an exception, okay? Exceptions need to be proactively resolved to manage RTOs or return to origin. So do you know what is return to origin or RTO? You have to send the package again to, to, the, to the point of um, deliver, I no. Yeah, to the point that <laughs> I don't know how I can explain. <laughs> you uh, have to return the package. <laughs> that is very good. Yeah. Perfect. So that is part of the logistics. So for example, let's imagine that Adriana is going to send a package to Carla. Okay, and uh, well, the address of Carla is not correct. And the phone number is not correct. Okay, so Ricardo is the, the delivery person and he goes to the address and knocks on the door and he says, uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Carla. And Nelson goes out and says, I'm sorry, here, there is no Carla. I, I don't know what's going on. So Ricardo is like, mm, what can I do? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call Carla, right? And he dials the phone number, but the phone number is not correct. He dialed the phone number and uh, anybody else, I don't know, Ada answers the call. Hello, is Carla there? No, this is Ada, no Carla, I'm sorry. So at the end, Ricardo has to return the package to Adriana. So that is, huh? It's like, it's like when the postman returns our letters. <laughs> exactly the same. The problem is that that is a cost. Actually for yeah. the 3PL is going to duplicate the cost right but they need to handle that one of course depending on the agreement that you have with the company that is going to be about the cost i mean uh, if you are going to pay if they are going to pay but it, it needs to be returned we so have, that is sometimes we have a case like this because we receive another package that is not for for the company the 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 logistic operator in in the in the exterior and make a mistake and we receive some box uh, some boxes that no is not for us and we have to return or oh, sometimes they say to us mm, it's okay don't worry it's for you <laughs> and it's okay mm -hmm. but if if uh, they need the package again, they have to pay the return. Exactly, it's not your fault, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. they need to do it themselves. Very good. So I guess now this is clear. Okay. So now um, the next one is reverse logistics. Okay, so that is going to be for, let's see who's here, for Pamela. Hello, Pamela. No Pamela, teacher. No Pamela, she is getting some coffee. Okay. So then, uh, Yancy, could you please help us? 
they uh, reverse logistics. Okay. The option for returning product is crucial in attracting customer and main, maintaining brand loyalty. The management of return of exchange process and consider reverse logistics or returns manage, management. In reverse logistics, the products are sent back to supply chain to their origin warehouse. And there, the product will avoid reselling, exchange, or refund. Moreover, this process also requires specific return shipping policies with a kit reimbursement and exchange system. If not done completely, reverse logistics can create unnecessary expenditures. 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 So I will management little system about necessary costs or delays. Delay. Therefore, top logistics company constantly update their touch to main, main, maintain an efficient reverse logistics system. Very good. So um, what do you understand about reverse logistics, Jancy? What is reverse logistics? Reverse logistics. Uh, um, I think that when the customer, I don't like one product and return the product, but, but I don't I don't know. Actually, that is reverse logistics. Very good. And what it says this one is that, I mean, it's not only to return to the origin, right? It's not just to return. So you have to have a, a negotiation with the 3PL to check. Okay, you are going to, are you, you are going to give me the package to me again, or you are going to put it there on the warehouse. Uh, the product is going to be, of course, there's going to be a reimbursement to the customers that purchase or wanted to purchase that package. But then what is going to happen for with the product? Uh, is going to be reselled or is going to be uh, returned to the producer or is going to, I mean, there are many things that might be happening. So you need to identify what is the best option according to your need and what the 3PL can offer you. So you manage these things with not a lot of money in, in, in between, of course. In this case, teacher, is very important the opportunity that the reimbursement, reimbursement is um, effective because it uh, shows a good, uh, a good policy what do you say? Um, because when the reimbursement is late, the imagine of the company is not good. That is true. Uh, in the US, that is a, a big problem. If, if people, they don't get their money back for a purchase they did not receive, oh my goodness, they get crazy, right? So they call, they call the bank, they call a lot of people, I need my dollar back or anything like that. So uh, yeah, it's, it's the reputation of the company. So it's not only to return the package, but also to give the money back, to get a refund, and also to check what you are going to do with the package. Everything has to be in the negotiation, okay? Very good. For example, teacher, it happens, uh when we receive a, an equipment um, we call DOA, dead on arrival, and we have to do the claim to the supplier and they say, oh my God, it's, it's one, only one equipment. And they say, oh my God, it's, it's very, very, very 
oh my God, very expensive uh, that we return the package. We apply a credit note to you. And that's the equipment uh, in, bad, in bad conditions. We, we threw away mm -hmm, with, because it doesn't, doesn't function. And they, they give us a, a, a credit note. Yeah, I mean, that happens. I mean, for whenever you purchase a shirt, it's not a big deal, right? I mean, yes, you want to get, but about equipment that are expensive or things that you really need, sometimes it's not only the, the, the money that you spend on the purchase, but the impact in the operations, right? So if you need that piece of equipment to start producing right now and they don't send it or they send the wrong one, something happens, then you are going to be more time without producing your products. So that is a big problem, definitely. Good, the 3.9, uh, this is a large one. Okay, uh, this is going to be, let's see, uh, let me check. Like that, I guess. Okay, let's see who else is missing. Um, Rafael, could you please help us with 3.9? Yes, teacher. Okay. Our matter, order, manifestation, and tracking. Let me one minute. Of course, take your time. As soon as the business receives the order, it is manifest, manifested by creating an order on the logistics service providers platform, after which AWVS are generated to initiate the shipping process and other matter to help businesses manage order manifestation and expedite the order dispatch process. AWVS can be generated hassle free with top shipping companies, simplifying picking, pack, packing, and delivery. AP, API. API, API, sorry. Integration with automation tools provided a single handle to refine the manifestation process reducing manual effort and inaccuracies. That's my, that's makes a, API in, integrate a prominent tool in many software. For instance, a logistic intelligence software like Big Post offers an expert automation system for the other manifestation process. For the motor, Clippost also utilizes dual API integration for the push and pull metal to receive real time order tracking data and push notification to customer for end to end visibility. Perfect, very good. What do you understand on this one? Um, talk about the the our matter order manifestation. Okay, um, use the uh, software. Um, for for the process, uh, be uh, more fast and aromatic. Okay, for very example, good. Ah, go ahead. For example, uh, uh, a logistic intelligence software like Please Post offer and spare automation system. You only you can the process and uh, with the software and only like Please Post. Okay, and you can visibility or a process. Okay, very good, perfect. So 
Yeah, automated order manifestation and tracking. So this is a little bit complex, but actually it's very easy as well. Uh, the automated order manifestation and tracking means that when somebody places an order, uh, do you remember like in FedEx, you will be able to print not only the label, but also the manifest for you to transport that one. And that with that code, you will be able to track. So it's one thing only. It's not that you are going to have a software for the label or a software separate for the manifest or a software that is different for tracking. So it's the same thing. So you will be able to place an order and then you will be able to just click in a button and then print label manifest. And with that code, if, I mean, if you put the label into the package and the manifest into the track, anybody with a scanner will be able to just click or, or get the code and check in the system. Oh, this is this and the delivery uh, address is there and the stage is right here and the conditions for the transport are least. So it is very good. That is something that is, I mean, it's complicated because the software has to be very nice, very accurate, but it's actually very easy to use it. Whenever you have a very good software, you just need to print and scan the code and then check what you need to do. That is it. So that is the review of everything that is here. So a software for you to print and track a code. The code is very important here. Okay, and let's check 3.10. Uh, Guadalupe, could you please help us with this one? Oh, I don't know if she was able to, I don't remember. Yeah, somebody was telling me. Yeah, she's not able. Okay, let's see. Ophelia, could you please read 3.10? Identification and manage, management of given express, expression. S L I is the fourteen of Patinchi, I reckon, Bucini, Venturis, and log, Logistics, a company, a club. Uh, 50%. 50%. I was on noticing I will do, do this assisting of the technology and resulting on unnecessary in unknown custom. I told money team, I just ration, I cross all agree because simply this, I wish thanking IP intelligent and her face is in a Enable, thank you, please. I choose a change intervention and power. You will see I do proactive for correct and manage all deliver exception. Very good, perfect. So this is very clear, right? Or not? So identification and management of delivery exceptions. So this is linked to the one that we checked before. Exceptions occur, but we need to identify and manage the delivery of these exceptions. And the uh, first acronym there is SLA. Do you know what is SLA? The server server service level agreement. That is it. Yeah. It is the service level agreement. And what is that for? What is that we, percent that that's right? Mike, and the company it's will it's use the, the, digamos, the, 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 the,
a security um is it to use uh monitoring a company actually it's not about security it's it's a rate it's a rate right. that shows you something about the business uh somebody yeah. else was speaking i guess rose okay sorry at the company we used to, oh my God, to set the expectations that the clients have about the company, about the service that we offer. Perfect. That is actually a service level agreement. And SLA is when, for example, you are in the negotiation, right? And then uh, you say, okay, uh, some packages are going to be lost. That is for sure because of many reasons. So the first thing that you agree is what is that percentage? So for example, one percentage can be 95. 95% agreement means that yes, maybe five packages out of a hundred might be lost and it's still good. It's a good, a good uh, percentage. But if we lose seven, 10 packages, oh, that is not good. And then the agreement means that if you have more than five packages lost, there is a compensation that the company has to provide to you because you promised, you promised me that you were going to handle 95% of everything, uh, the packages that we're delivering. So that is the service level agreement. So that you agree the amount or the percentage of successful package delivered in this situation. SLA can be, it can be adapted to any company actually. For example, in Google, we have a service level agreement of 99.5. That means that almost never you are going to have problems with at least, for example, the email, the email for business, of course. Gmail is for free, that is different. So, you can adapt this rate to any company. The service level agreement can be for any company. And uh, the other uh, question that I have for you is API. Do you know what is an API? Okay, an API is like, a, how can I explain this? Indicators. It's not an indicator. An API is about software. An API is, like for a, example. It's like an interface in, in a program. Exactly. So you have a software that is, it does a lot of things, the software. And an API is the one that allows you to do one task. Okay. For example, imagine that you have a website. And in the website, uh, you want to, uh, you want to put a map, but the map, uh, there are many kinds of maps that you want to integrate there. Uh, since you are a logistic, you are going to set a map that shows via GPS all the movements of your trucks. So everybody can see that. So you have the website with the software and all the language, but only that, only that map, that is just one API. If you have another map for another thing, there is another API. So an API makes a task in this specific software. And in this case, if uh, a delivery exception occurs, if something was not delivered or it was delayed or something happened, uh, it's stuck, uh, automatically it's going to show a different code because of this API. So you are going to, or the person that is handling this one is going to say, uh, we were not able to deliver this. And automatically is going to create a different code that is going to show you the reason why and what you need to do for that one. So it's something that is very accurate and very specific. And you need to negotiate first that one, and then you need to implement that in the software. So it's a very good thing. I don't remember how many, oh, we missed more than one. Okay, so we're going to stop for a little while and we are going to check the attendance. Let's see how, uh, here we are. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. I'm here. Perfect, thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. 
Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present, teacher. Okay, well. Present, teacher. Good, Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. <laughs> you are with a little boy. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson <coughs> Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good, perfect. Okay, let's continue with this one. We almost finished on this. And then we're going to check some other stuff that I brought for you. Teacher, present. Perfect, thank you, Jancy. I get you already. Okay. Uh, okay, so here is it. Okay, so um, the 3.11 is going to be four. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna start all over. Let's see. Lower this. Okay. Insurance policy. An insurance policy is a good fallback plan if anything goes wrong with shipments and there is high frequency and depth in shipping operation today. As a result, commodities can go lost, damaged, or missing accidentally, or the logistic company can also be at fault. Therefore, logistic companies should provide a good insurance plan or limited li li liability. Li liability, thank you, compensation for tackling such situations. Perfect, what do you understand about this one? Insurance, uh, I understand is a, is a, a like a, a, um, a, a good policy in the fabricant, for example, to, to the customers because uh, when he, when when the customer uh, have insurance, uh, the customer can uh, can can have a, a security of the product uh, if the product. Uh, if the product uh, have a, a accident, for example, uh, for incendios, uh, or 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 other or other accident, the customer have um, a, a good a good tool with. Uh, the fabricant, if the if the customer require insurance when the customer uh, put the order. Perfect, very good. Yeah, actually, this is uh, not that difficult, but also is very important. 
many things might be happening. We never know. So we need to be ready. I mean, for example, for hurricanes, I mean, products are lost, right? Anything that happens in a flood, I mean, is lost. What is going to happen with those products, with the companies, with the producers? Of course, they have insurance and they pay a lot of, of that one. I mean, it's not that cheap, but the good thing is that one. If something happens, you are going to be covered. You can continue producing and, and, and with your business. So this is a very important thing. Okay, and the 3.12, that is going to be for Osmin. Number four, yeah. Customer service, yeah. Okay, good. The largest industry is one of the most competitive in the business world to stay ahead. It needs to offer the much customer service, much only by its after sales support network behind all your products and service from order information until they are delivered. Moreover, automated customer support was the help of Shabot can empower customer to tailor reverse logic and inside pickup and delivery service. And I will also reduce with call substantially. Very good, perfect. So at the end, it's not that it's the least important, but customer service refers to, to the way that customers are going to get some, some support, right? So the logistics industry is very competitive and uh, it's very good idea that depending on the size of the company, of course, you have customer support. So they can call, they can send emails, they can track system, they can go online and check what is going on. So they are satisfied on what is going on. If there, are, if there is a problem to know what is the problem and to know what we are doing for them. So that those things are very, very important. So very good. So that is the last part and there is a final conclusion. So um, it says, suppose you're a business owner who relies solely on the shipping and courier industry to get your products from point A to B. In that case, you must select logistics company that utilize contemporary technology with advanced automated tools. So that is what you need to do, to choose the companies that have the best technology, right? Automated, something very fast and automatic. Moreover, logistics services can make or break or your online business. The last thing you want is an outdated logistics system that causes delays in getting customers' orders filled and delivered. Yeah, I mean, if logistics is not good, the business is not gonna work. Even if you have a nice product, a nice price, very good packaging, but if it's not in time, and if uh, the logistics is not working fine, it's not gonna work. Such situations lead to lost sales opportunities and decreased revenue. Therefore, consider partnering with a shipping and courier company that provides multiple resources under one roof. That is key. That's why you need to do many questions when you are negotiating with 3PLs, right? What do you offer? If What happens if, if I do this or if I need this, whatever. They include cutting edge automation tools such as machine learning algorithms, predictive analytics, artificial intelligence, and predictive, uh, predictive delivery the algorithms. So let this, well, that is the, the end of the article. So let's say that we need to hire, we need to hire a logistic, a 3PL, let's say. So this, what you have here, in this one is the checklist the questions that you need to ask. Okay, choice of logistic partner, it says, and it's going to be like, 
Let me just move this slowly. Uh, I mean, the, the name of the company, the experience that they have, that is number one. Number two, serviceability of logistics company, the size of the company, but for a good service. Do we have the way for you to handle this size of my company? Improving career selection process and managing shipping costs. So how is going to be the career or how is going to be the pricing on that one? Warehousing and inventory management, definitely. This is one of the most important things. Order tracking and transport, do they offer this? How can you track the shipments? How can you track the orders? Delivery services, how is it going to be? What is the quality of this one? Uh, are you able to reschedule? Are you able to change uh, things like things like that? Last mile delivery exceptions. So what happens when uh, it's a delayed or stuck or incorrect address and you are not able to deliver? Uh, how can you help me with this one? Reverse logistics, how to return to origin what is going to happen with the product? Uh, how is going to be their reimbursement for the customer? Automated order manifestation and tracking. So what is your system for you to print labels, manifest and track the, the goods throughout the process? Identification of management of delivery exception. So SLA, what is the agreement that we're going to have? What is the percentage? Insurance, of course, how is going to be, uh, what is going to happen if, there is a fire, there is a flood, and customer service. So this is, these are the basics for this one. If you are going to hire a 3PL, you can forget any of this. So you have a very nice thing going on. Any questions with the checklist? No questions. Everything is clear as of chat. Okay, let's move on with this little thing that I brought for you today. I'm going to present because it's a little bit. Okay, so this is a flow chart. Do you know what a flow chart is? Describe the, the step for a step of the uh, specific process very good that is it it's for you uh -huh, go ahead design the the process for activity for each activity and the the manner the could you say organize uh, ordenado organizado the activities organize. Organize. you can say organize Order. Yeah, the flowchart is a type of a, a you say met, it's a methodology when you describe a specific brochure a specific process. Very good, perfect. Mm -hmm. That is it. Nice. So uh, these are like the symbols that we usually use to create flowcharts. We're going to get to know them in English. I know that maybe you know them in Spanish, but let's see how it goes in English. So every symbol has a meaning. So when you see a flowchart, you know what you need to do to stop, to continue, to connect, to merge, anything like that. So what is going to happen in that step? So it's a very nice thing because in a little draw, you will be able to understand all the procedure without reading a lot of things. Let's read about the symbols. These are only the symbols about this one. Uh, let's see, uh, Lourdes, could you please read Terminator? Okay. Terminator indicates the beginning or end of a program flow in your dia dia diagram. 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 Very good, perfect. So the terminator is to start or to finish. Only that, okay? At the beginning and at the end, that is it. Very good. Uh, Salmi, could you please read the, the next one, process? The process indicates any processing function. Very good, perfect. So that means that there is something going on, that something is happening in that step. 
Okay, of course you can use many of those, right? You can use, depending on the procedure, uh, you can use many of those. Good. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the session? Okay. Decision. Indicate a decision point between two or more parts in a brochure. Very good. So that is decision. So you are in a process, but sometimes you need to stop and decide what to do. For example, in logistics, was the package delivered? Yes or no? So there, if the answer is yes, you need to follow some steps. If the, uh, if the steps, I mean, if the answer is no, there are other steps that you need to follow. So that is a decision. Very good. Uh, Jancy, could you please read delay? Sorry, uh, yeah. a delay, delay yeah. in indicates a relay in the process. Very easy, that is very easy. So they need to wait, you need to stop for a while and wait to check what's going on because of many reasons. The next one is data. Uh, Ada, could you please read data? That, data? You can say data or data, that is not a problem. Okay. Uh, can represent any type of data in a flowchart. Yes, it's just that one, data, right? So data or data, uh, information that is going to be there for you to get uh, or, or do something about that. Uh, document is for rows. Document, in the case data that can be ready, read by people, such as printed output. Very good. Sometimes in the flowcharts in this one, there are some links for you to open a document and then you will be able to read. Sometimes it's very large. Sometimes it's like 40 pages for a document, depending on what you want to do, right? Uh, I don't know if you are able to read that one, but uh, let's see. Ophelia, could you please read the next one? Let me just move this. Okay. Multiple documents. Uh, multi document in indicates multiple documents. That's it, right? So the first one was one document. The second one, there are more than one document. That's the only difference. So you have one or many links, depending on what is going on there. Uh, subroutine is for Guadalupe. Subroutine. Indicate uh, pred predefined made process such uh, a subroutine or a model. Very good, perfect. So a subroutine means that you are in the process, but sometimes uh, in certain points, you need to go out from the procedure and do something else. Something that is in parallel or is just in one step that you need to do some other steps on this one. Okay, good. The next one, preparation, is for Carla. Preparation indicates a modification to a process such as the setting a switch or initializing a routine. Very good, preparation. So indicates a modification to a process such as setting switch or initiation or routine. So it's going to be ready for you to change something, to modify something. So things like that, okay? Uh, the next one is for floor, display. Display, indicator day that is displayed for people to read, such as day on a monitor or project Screen. Okay, so that means that you are going to display something at this point. You need to show something. This is more for technology, actually. Okay, the next one is for Sandra. Manual input. Hello, Sandra. Yes. Manual input. In the case, any operation that is uh, performance 
manually by a person. Very good. So that is very clear. If somebody has to do something manually, that is like, it. So, so put something in the process, to do something in the process. Okay, the next one is for Lourdes, manual loop. Okay, manual loop indicates a sequence of commands that will continue to repeat until stopped manually. Very good, also very clear. So there are a sequence of commands that are something, some actions are going to be repeated and then it's going to be stopped manually. Sometimes it's not manually, but it's going to be stopped. It's something that is repeated. Very good, loop limit. That is going to be for Adriana. Yes, indicates the start of a loop. Fly the step, the, the shape vertically to indicate to end of a loop. A loop. Very good. So a loop limit. So it's, it's the start of a loop, something that is going to be repeated. And uh, if you see that one in that way, it's going to start in uh, backwards, it's going to be the finish of that one. Good. Store data, that is for Ricardo. Hello? Yeah, uh, please read store data. Sorry, no, no, listen. Uh, yes, store data. Please read that one. Tour little. Stored data or data. 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 Stored data. It's, it's uh, this one. I don't know if you can see my mouth. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. Por la pantalla no la había visto. Indicate an any type type of stored data. Very good. Perfect. So. There in that point, you have some data that are stored, maybe as a backup or many other things. Okay, the next one is for Pamela, connector. Hello, Pamela. She's still at the supermarket. Okay, so the next one is going to be for Ophelia, connector. Again, please. I connect and the cast and inspection point. Yeah, that is like a connector. So something that is going to put something together and it's uh, for you to check what is going on, okay? The next one is off page connector. That is going to be for Rafael. Sorry. Uh, yeah, off page connector, please. Yes. Use this shape to create a cross reference and hyperlink from a process on one page to a process on another page. Very good, perfect. So this is just for you to connect whenever, I mean, some processes are very, very large. Sometimes one page is not enough. And you can see that they are different because depending on the, the direction where you are going to go, that is the way that you are going to put the connector there. The other one is where he see is or, logical or. So happens this or this. So you need, it's, it's very similar to the one that uh, is for decision. So it's going to tell you either this or this other thing is going to happen. That is it. And the other one, the sum injunction is and. So in the first one in or is one or the other one. And the second one in the end is going to be this and these things, two things together, okay? So let's go to collate. Uh, that is going to be for, uh, let's see. I'm gonna start all over. Yeah. Hold on a second. Osmin, could you please read collate? Okay. Collate. Collate indicate a step that organize data into a standard format. 
that happens sometimes when you, for example, if you use, I don't know if you have used uh, SQL servers. In the SQL servers, they handle a lot of data, but it's an amount of data that is huge. And you will be able to, uh, you will be able to uh, get some reports from, from the SQL server or big data or BigQuery uh, into Excel or the Google Sheets. So you can organize in different things and you will be able to connect different tables. So, I mean, in SQL servers or, or big data, you will be able to have millions of data, millions of characters, millions of phone numbers, money, account numbers, anything. And you will be able to connect them with the name or any other thing so you can create reports. So this is something like that. Collate is for you to, to change the data. You have data, but you are going to organize in a different ways so you understand that better. Sort, Ada Patricia, please. Sort, indicate a step that organize item list sequentially. That is very easy. Sort is like to organize. Uh, for example, in Excel, this is like uh, in uh, ascendant or descendant order. So whatever you want to do. Merge, rows. Merge indicates a step that combines multiple sets into one. So that is to merge two things, two steps, two departments. Something is going to be together there. Okay, uh, well, the last ones are database that is like a, indicates a list of information with a standard structure that allows a searching of sorting and internal storage that indicates an internal storage device. So that is uh, a little bit different from this. And this, my friends, is like a, a procedure for logistics. So question, what is the first step here? Let's process. analyze. Process, what is that? Um, okay, the good, well, you can check that there are many things here and there are two different kind of colors, right? But which one is the first one? The first step is? It's going to be distribution center, it's going to be order distribution, what do you think here? If you see this process, what is going to be the starting point? The first one. I see very small the graphic teacher. Oh my goodness. And you know that I'm presenting Sorry. that is a... Sorry. Yes, teacher, I don't understand because it's very, very small. Yeah, but I'm not able to do it bigger because this is it. Okay, uh, well, if you are not able to see this one, of course, we're going to move to the next. What about this one? Do you see this a little bit better? Yes, yes. yes. it's better. Okay, yes, better. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. So. The question is here, which is the first step? Quotation. Quotation. Quotation is the first one. What is a quotation? Um, because it's the start of the business. Yeah, definitely. That is the first step. As you can see the, the shape, that is going to be the first step. But in general, what is a quotation? What is that? Propose offer. Point. Very good. So a quotation is when you, when you, for example, when you go to a store and you ask offer for something. Offer in the uh, Something like that. So uh, how much is this? I don't know this product. And then the other says, "Oh, is this amount of money?" And you start saying. What if I purchase a thousand of these ones? Do I have a better price, a better deal? So you start negotiating and you, you receive a quotation from the, from the producer, from the distributor for the company, okay? Price, price change? 
I'm sorry? Pray, price the chains? Yeah, sometimes there are different pricing on this on this level. Yeah. So at this, uh, the next one is a decision. Do you see? The customers agree to purchase. So we present a quotation, a quote, and then there are two, there are two options, yes or no. If the answer is no, that is it. Okay, thank you for visiting us. Bye-bye, see you. But if the answer is yes, then the next is sign the contract. Very good. So of course, there is a negotiation there, right? That is where the quotation comes and then negotiation, and then you sign the contract. So, but then there is another decision. Stock, what is the meaning of that? What do you understand? Is there an existence of the product? Very good. So the customer wants to purchase and we sign the contract. He agrees that he's going to purchase. So there, is there inventory of the product in the warehouse? Do we have the product? Okay, again, there are two answers. If the answer is no, so we need to arrange the deposit and prepare the production. Okay, so we need to purchase raw materials and then go for the production uh, part. And of course, then deliver the goods. And if the answer is yes, deliver after receiving the payment. So that is it. You have the option there. And then of course, uh, the procedure, it gets together, right? So the receipt of the product and then the after sales service. What is the after sales service? What do you understand on, on the last part? the after sales service. What is that? When someone called you to ask you how was the, how was your, oh my God. How was yeah. the, how was the, the salesman attend, attend you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is like moni monitoring? Yeah. About if you are the, if you are satisfied with the satisfied yes with the, the service mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good so customer satisfaction and monitoring actually they are both different and those are included in this one so when the other company received the products you need to verify was in time uh, was in good condition uh, the package was okay um, the products were in good shape, um, everything that is related with this one. Um, are you happy with this service, with the delivery, with the person that delivered that one? Will you buy again from us? Would you recommend the product or service? So that is it. As you can see, this is a very basic flow chart. I mean, it's, it's not that difficult, but even when it's a basic one, you see that there are many steps I mean, and those steps are very important. So you need to check into that one and check what is going on. Okay, any questions about this flowchart? It's very easy. <laughs> it's very easy, very basic, right? Yeah, basic. Yeah. Imagine, imagine. Oh my God, there are flowchart. Oh my God, like, uh, how do you say? Oh my God, I forgot the word. Labyrinth. <laughs> Labyrinth. Labyrinth, yes. Yeah, sometimes some of without, those. Without end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of this. I mean, in my how would it be the flowchart of the procedures of Amazon or FedEx? or DHL, that should be, I mean, sometimes what happens is that in this little flowchart, you can click in one of these and another, another flowchart opens and then you can go back. So that is another way for you to present. Sometimes this is like the general one, but then uh, for example, arrange the deposit, you can click on that one and you will see another procedure for that one. So sometimes 
that it happens. Let's check another one. Okay. So this is to warehouse multi-channel supply chain network. I don't know if you are able to see all of it, but can you check and try to understand what happens in this one? Take your time and check. One warehouse and many forms do you do you make the transportation of product? Very good. That is it. This, this is about warehouse and uh, the supply chain, right? So you, I don't know if you are able to see there the, the little arrows, uh, but well, the first one here says warehouse to warehouse transfer. So they can, they can move products from here to here and vice versa, okay? Also, you can see here that we have the supplier. So the, uh, the ones in red, are the suppliers, the West count, the domestic vendor, and we have Asians. So just in case something happens, we can do it from, from the West or we can do it from the Asians, okay? And for example, the Asians vendors, these brokers, they ship via, well, a ship, a boat, right? By ocean, by air, by land transport customs. The other one, it says vendor doorship purchase order. So this is in the same country. So we don't need the ship, okay? And also we have a vendor here that uses like general truck. We have order shipments, returns, uh, doorship. I mean, it's, it's different, but it's, it's very complete actually. Here we have a store. So whenever we finish here, we can send or receive back from the store. And this one comes to the customer. On the other side, it's kind of similar. I mean, the East Coast vendors, European vendors, the way that they are going to get the products or, or the raw materials or the shipments and the way that they are going to go to customers. Mm -hmm. So this is a multi-channel, two warehouse multi-channel supply. I don't know if you have any questions about this one. Tomorrow when I send you the picture, maybe you are going to see a little bit better, but it's kind of not a flow chart, but it's a, a network, let's say. This is for you to present a network. It's right diagram. Picture. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you can say a diagram, yeah. Right. Okay, so check on this one. What do you see there? What do you understand about this one? So what happens according to the diagram, according to the, uh, this picture? What is going on with this, with the company and the 3PL, the customer and the supplier? What is going on? Any ideas? Remember that it's just to practice English, right? It's not that it's correct or incorrect. Maybe for taking a decision. Okay. Yeah, it might be for you to take a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the best option mm -hmm. to choose a 3PL? Very good. Mm -hmm. So if we analyze a little bit here, here is my company and there is the side one and the 3PL side. So there is like a warehouse that is not my company, but it is like a warehouse. And we have the warehouse for the 
3PL. The supplier, uh, he delivers to my company the raw materials with a purchase order. So this is a purchase order. I am purchasing, okay? And then the supplier, uh, well, sends, they transport uh, the raw materials. It might be to the side one or directly to the 3PL. Or sometimes they use a 3PL. So that's why it says this back to back, right? And they goes to the site of my company and then I produce and then I get my own 3PL and I have from the customer a sales order. So they want to purchase. So I have a sales order and I say to the 3PL, okay, you need to deliver this to the customer. So this is like the flow of all the materials uh, from the very beginning, from the supplier until the very end, that is the customer. It's kind of a simple thing. And there are different responsibilities that you can see there, sales, procurement, planning, invoicing, and finance. And of course, the 3PL has the responsibility of warehouse operation and transport delivery, the last one. Okay, let's check into this one. What do you understand on this one? Anybody wants to give opinion? Maybe e-commerce or um, e-commerce, maybe? It might be uh, an e-commerce. Yeah, definitely. So as you can maybe. see. Or like TV offer, maybe? Like, how do you? Uh, yeah, TV offer is definitely an e-commerce. So they just show some uh, commercials and you will be able to order a lot of products there, right? A process to choose a third party logistic provider. Very good. So this is a procedure, well, a process to um, to choose a 3PL. So let's analyze. The first one, it says that there is a telephone or email. So I receive a phone call or an email and the logistic service request from the customer. So there is a customer that is calling me and tells me, hey, you know what? I need logistic service. Uh, can you help me? Okay. And then it says communicate if necessary. Send logistic service form for the customer. So there are different documents that I send to the customer. The customer receives that one via email probably. And they fill all the information and send it back. They send back the logistic forms filled already. And we receive the logistics service form from the customers. So now we analyze what do they need? Oh, they need this and this and this. And then we prepare a quotation about pricing and send back to the customer. So we say, yes, we can help you. We can help you with this and this and this in this way. And the price mm -hmm. is going to be this. So the quotation is sent. Okay, here it says fax, but it might be via email or whatever. And there is a job order. So if they accept that one, uh, there is a job order. And we prepare the job order sheet. So we contact the right department. Well, we're going to work with this new company. We need to prepare all the systems, all the um, materials that we're going to get. And then we select the logistics service supplier. That is kind of easy and fill in booking form to logistic service supplier. So that is like to place a specific formal order. Same booking for supplier. So we send that one. And then the suppliers provide logistic service. And along the process, you can see there is a telephone email. So for all the process, we need to be in communication with the company. 
So to check that everything is fine, that is quality and customer service. Is everything fine? Did you receive the quotation? Do you have any questions about the quotation? And things like that. So this is a very nice procedure actually. Uh, do you have any questions about this one? No. Very good, perfect. Uh, well, we have, we have time for a little activity that we're going to do today. Let's see how it goes this one. Just to break our minds. What we're going to do in the final 10 minutes is this. We're going to practice and everybody's going to say this little paragraph, the same paragraph. But it should be the fastest that you can. Okay, this is for you to practice fluency. This is a short one, but in the future, we are going to do a larger one, okay? So it's going to be very easy, okay? If you see here, I'm going to read it in a normal pace. It says, world's happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country. According to World Happiest uh, Happiness Report rankings based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. It's very easy, but I need you to read it fast. Something like this. Let's see. World's happy nation is not for the first years in a row. Finland is the world's happiest country according to the world happiest report rankings based largely in the life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Fast. That's what we are going to practice right now. Fast. Okay. Are you ready? Do you need one or two minutes for you to practice in your mind? One minute, I see now, because it's very short. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Practice in silence there in your side, and then we're going to do it. Okay, let's practice then. Let's go in order. It doesn't matter if you made mistakes or if it's okay. Let's do it fast. That is it. Rose told me she wanted us to be the first one. So, Rose. It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> 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 okay, I try it. Okay. World's happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country according to World Happiness Ripper Rankings based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Pool. Very good. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, tell me. World's happiness nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country according to World Happiness Report Rankings based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Pool. Very good, that was very nice, perfect. <laughs> now, uh, okay. Osmin, please. Okay, World Happy Nation is Nordic. For the third year in and out, find the, is the world happiest country, according to the World Happiness Report, right? Uh, ranking that's a legally of on life evaluation from the Gallup World Pool. Okay, very good. That's nice. Sandra. World's happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country. According to World Happiness Report rankings based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Very good. Perfect. That was good. Susana. Hi, okay. World Happiness National is Nordic. For the few years around, Finland is the World Happiness Country according to World Happiness Report Rankings based largely of the evaluation from the Gallup World Pool. 
Very good. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Ada. World Happiness National and Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland in the World Happiness Country, according to the World Happiness Report ranking based largely on the life evaluation from the Value World Forum. Very good. That was very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Lourdes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> world happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world happiest country according to World Happiness Report rankings based largely on evaluation from the Gallup World. Very good, perfect. That was very nice. Good. Let's see. Um, Ophelia. A working happy nation is nothing. For the fifth year in Rome, Ferran is the world happening according, according to world happiness report. Uh, drinking rice, learning on leaf evolution from the Rappering board for okay, very good, perfect. Guadalupe, world happening nation is Nordic for the five year in a row. Finally, is the world happening country according to world happening report ranking based largely on the light evaluation from the Galum World Four. Very good, perfect. That was nice, Pamela. World happiness nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world happiness country, according to World Happiness Report rankings based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Perfect, that was good. Carla. World happiness nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world happiness country, according to World Happiness Report ranking based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Very good. That was very nice. Uh, let's see, Jancy. World Happy National is Nordic. For the 15 years in a row, Thailand is the world happy country. According to World Happy Report ranking based largely of on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Very good. Perfect. Let's see, Adriana. Okay, world's happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country according to World Happiness Report, ranking basis largely in of life evaluation for the Gallup World Poll. Very good, perfect. Nelson. I guess it's not possible. Zulma, is it possible? Not possible either. Uh, Rafael. World's happiest nation is Nordic. For the fifth year in a row, Finland is the world's happiest country. According to World Happiness Report ranking based largely on life evaluation from the Gallup World Poll. Very good. Perfect. That was very good. Let's see. And uh, I guess the other people are not able to because they are working or something like that. Anybody else is missing? Everybody did it right. Okay. This was just an activity for us to, to practice a little bit of fluency. Uh, we are going to finish the class, of course. And uh, before we finish, uh, do you have any questions? No questions, teacher. No questions. Very good. So uh, let's check the attendance. And then uh, also remember that tomorrow we have class as normal. It's Friday. It's the last day of the week. And I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Of course, I hope everybody can come tomorrow. So let's check the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. 
Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Present Iraeta. Present teacher. Uh -huh, good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good night. Actually, Rafael, for you is the 101 today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. And Nelson, Susana... present teacher. Sorry. Oh, okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Very good. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. Good night. See you. See you. Okay, hello, Rafael, how are you? Hello, fine. Very well, perfect. So, uh, well, I know that you have experience on the one-on-ones already. So, uh, well, the first question is, how do you feel that you are moving on with English? Uh, do you believe that you are learning, that you are getting something? Sorry, repeat, teacher. Of course. Uh, so, how do you feel that you are moving on with the English class? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting vocabulary? How do you feel? Um, for me, I feel good. I, I feel that I'm learning a lot of, a lot of vocabulary. And how do you say incluso? Even so. Even so, uh, the, uh, for example, about the 3 PL, 4 PL, 5 PL, is a topic uh, that I'm learning um, for, for the Spanish. And in, um, I'm learning in English is very interesting for me. And I like because um, I don't I don't focus in the grammar because I think I I I learn or are how do you say uh, manejo lo manejo or, or I, I manage I manage the 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 grammar and in this topic uh, are um, and I learn very vocabulary. A lot very of vocabulary. Good. It's very interesting. Yeah, that is good that you're getting the vocabulary. I know that sometimes these topics are kind of difficult for some people, but if you understand that one and you're happy on that one, that's very nice. That's great. Yeah, for me, it's very difficult to uh, talk, talk English because I don't, pra I don't practice all days um, because I'm feeling great because I I I'm, I understand 
and when I listen you or listen the, the video and I understand uh, many, many awesome vocabulary. Very good, that is great. So um, do you have any questions about any topic or any word vocabulary or any grammar, not only from this, but also from any other modules that we have checked? Yes. Um, let me check. When I what is what is the burdensome? I'm sorry. Burdensome. Burdensome. Let me just try to find it. That one here in the presentation. There are many words that are like like that one, right? So there are words that sometimes are very are very like. Oh, I got it here. Uh, burdensome. Yeah, that is like. Uh, how can I explain you that? When you do a job in a very hard way that you you take a lot of effort so you do this this kind of situation this kind of job that is something that is burdensome so i don't know if you get the idea and and in spanish it will be something like arduo arduo something like on it also arduo Ah, okay, and um, 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 furthermore, furthermore is like a preposition, uh, so it's in consequence, and in consequence we can do this or, or other things, so something like that. As you can see, there are many vocabulary like that in this kind of presentations because it's since it's business related. I mean, sometimes you can say but or so. But those are vocabulary for common, uh, common communication, let's say. When you're speaking about business, sometimes they use words that are the same, but in a very formal way. Uh, okay. In this case, the information is a, is a formal information. Yeah, what well, we're checking here, the most of the prepositions that you are going to see connectors uh, I mean, instead of saying, for example, but they say, however, uh, moreover, right? But it's but, it's, it's, a, it's a synonym of but. Okay. Teacher Andrew, help me. Um, do, you, uh, do you know um, how is my assistant? I guess it's pretty good. Let me just check very quickly. Uh, Rafael. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, it's kind of good. There was only one day uh, on Friday 25th that it was almost half of the class. Also on Wednesday. Uh, and there are three classes that are like half of the class. For the other days, uh, four, four days. But I believe it's good enough by now. My best advice for you is to come to the class. I know that it's difficult because of your job and, and housing and things like that. But uh, if you can come to the class, the most of the class, that will be good. Yes, I, 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 I like that this, uh, this more or, or a strategy. Okay. Because I um, I feel we need uh, a list and uh, a lot of English, a list and list and list and practice. Maybe the pra the uh, in my case it's difficult to talk in English because I think in the in the uh, in the how do you say a, a través del tiempo or Throughout time. Throughout time, 
we practice the, the talk English or speak English. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, that is the main objective. I know that sometimes it's difficult because a lot of people, they want to speak, but whenever you have the chance, you speak. I mean, the practice is always good. Uh, that's why I say sometimes, even if it's not correct the idea, if you express your opinion, that is good. Okay, teacher. I think only that. Very good. Uh, any other question that you might have before we finish? Um, no. No, only, only that. It was a pleasure Thank then you. to speak with you today and have a fantastic night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher, for your time. Thank you. Good night. Good night.